Ulsan Hyundai gave themselves work to do after losing to Johor on match day four and with just six points must now try to win both of their final games if they want to possibly advance as one of the best second place team fielder Freddy Alvarez who is suspended after his red card Jungbo's side. To the action we go, Ulsan the visitors all in white, Patum United in their blue and their black shorts was, however, the visitors who got off to the better start just four minutes in. Lee Chung Yong with a shot from just outside the box. Plenty of power, but not quite the accuracy required to take the lead. Patum United then with their first chance not long later. And it was a good one as well. A really decent effort there from Danilo Alves, the Brazilian, trying to curl it into the bottom right corner just not quite enough bend on it to find the back of the net. 13th minute and back the other way again. An entertaining start to this game. Ulsan Hyundai then testing a the keeper for the first time. Kitty Pong Putaujwek with a good save to deny Seol Youngwoo again from just outside the box. 20th minute now. Ulsan Hyundai starting to dictate the pace of this game, settling into things nicely and linking up well down the left side. Chance for the opening goal, and there it is as well. A little bit of help from Jakapan Praisuwan would go down as an own goal. Great work between Martin Adam and Lee Myung Jae on that left side to create the goal scoring opportunity in the first place. Ulsan 1 0 up. In the 27th, they would make it to a little bit of help again from the Patum United defence. Ludvigsen, the Swedish winger, getting the final touch. So the goal would belong to him. A two-goal cushion now for the Korea Republic champions. To the 31st minute now, looking to build on that lead and very nearly doing so. Ludvigsen on the end of the Um Wong Sang ball into the middle just couldn't quite make the contact to find the target. Ulsan, however, in cruise control. At half-time, 2-0 up, and looking strong in the second 45 as well. 62nd minute, and there was the third goal, and a really well-taken one by Lee Myung-jae. Ataru Isaka picking him out with a lovely ball into the box. Still had work to do. The fine finish finds the bottom corner. Now a two-goal cushion turning into a three-goal cushion. Patum United, who have scored in each of their four games so far, and though they've lost all of them as well, would find the back of the net again on match day five. Sadly, already 3-0 down still. A well-taken goal, Tirasil Dangda picking out Igor Sergeyev to make it 3-1. It was too little, too late. That would be the final score. So uh, still no points for Patum United at the bottom of Group I, while Ulsan go into the final match day looking for another win to keep their last 16 hopes alive and kicking after an important victory on match day five over Thailand's Patum United.